in case you're wondering, I didn't bother putting up for this video a background. Uh, it's uh, 2 in the morning, 2.15 in the morning that I'm doing this video. I'm getting kind of tired, so... <laughs> But I've been up since, you know, I, 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 you know, I'm still, I haven't, I'm a night owl. I'm just going to make that known. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's 2.15 in the morning and I'm doing this video. Why? Because revolution doesn't take a fucking break. <laughs> um... What more can I say? Uh, I just want to touch on it real quick to say that Bush is wanted for war crimes and yet we have no, we're having like no media coverage on it. It's been reported in the Russia Today, it's been reported in NGO, it's been, it's been it's been reported in uh, the Auburn Journal, but major news sources in the U.S. like, you know, Huffington Post and Fox News and MSNBC and CNN, none of them have covered this. That just sounds, it just sounds really, really off center, of course, everything is with the corporate media, it's not like I didn't expect it, I mean, really, the fact that they're not reporting anything of it, that, it just further goes to prove the censorship of the fucking news media. <sighs> Shut up, I'm tired, I'm getting tired. Which is probably why this video is going to suck. But, <laughs> but I want to do it anyway. Because if I don't do it now, I'm going to forget it. I'm going to go to sleep and I'm going to forget it. So, that's so you know what? If you don't like it, fuck you. <laughs> the other thing, um... I, I was, uh... Just reading and I just... I had it and I forgot it, damn it. Had it and I lost it. I can't remember what I was gonna say. Give me a second. <sighs> Again, yeah, I'm tired, so shut up. <laughs> about uh, the guy that um, the dude that was um, the the Chen guy the Chinese guy that was an activist the blind he was a blind activist that was under house arrest and that was was in the US embassy seeking refuge and now he's being brought here to the US fine and dandy um, but Malice Rebel News even covered this, and I agree where it com comes down to if they're going to do that, then the U.S. should in turn let Private Bradley Manning, who I haven't spoken much about, uh, and I probably will in a fu future video, probably in my next video I might talk a bit more about him, um, but just the rundown about Bradley Manning, in case you don't know, he's the... I think he was the Marine private that was arrested and charged with, I think, sedition and was, in quote, uh, aiding the enemy, you know, because he, you know, leaked, you know, confidential, you know, information to WikiLeaks. Which is kind of weird because the last time I checked, I don't think wiki, I don't think a freaking wiki site was an enemy of the state. I'm sorry. 
if I'm mistaken, I'm sorry, but personally, I didn't, as an American citizen, I'm pretty sure that WikiLeaks is not considered an enemy of the United States, technically, because they're a wiki site, they're an internet site. Now, I can see how an internet site may be threatening to the United States government, given their very fascist, totalitarian nature. God, I hope some of these government official assholes are watching this video. Because I don't really give a damn. It's 2.15 in the morning. I don't give a damn right now what I'm talking about. My brain shut down, so shut up. Uh, but yeah, Bradley Manning was arrested... He was convicted, and he's now being serving time in prison, being tortured by our government. And that's another thing. Torture is illegal, according to the Constitution, yet our government does it every day to its own citizens. And the fact that the NDAA, although the NDAA actually was just, you know, ruled un uh, unconstitutional, but the government doesn't give a shit. The things like the NDAA and NDRP are going basically to render anything like that, you know, just, ink, the, you know, it's going to be, you know, basically the, the government's just going to do what they want. And I was talking, you know, wrote this comment on, um, uh, on a MSNBC, I think it was an MSNBC um, post about it, and I was like, you know what? If they're going to send Chen over here, it's only fair that we let Bradley Manning go to China, be a refugee in China. I mean, Chen's trying to get get out of, you know, is trying to get away from his totalitarian government. Why shouldn't Bradley Manning be able to get away from his? It's only fair, isn't it? I think so. Frankly, I'd like to get away from my totalitarian government, but I'm too busy kind of trying to fight them trying to fight it so I guess I'm not really trying to get away from it I'm more trying to provoke it really yeah I think that's actually more my speed I actually think I'm trying to provoke a fight with the government that explains why I can't get a lot of money from them a lot of the time anyway um, but yeah Bradley Manning He's an American hero. He's not. He's not a traitor. He's not an. And he's not. He's not somebody that should be being beaten and tortured and, and and treated like like a common criminal. He should be given a freaking medal of honor because he exposed. He was basically fighting for what America used to stand for before. You know, he he stands for liberty and justice for all and. You know, democracy, good human nature, you know, everything that the government isn't. You know, he should be given a freaking Medal of Honor for his bravery. Instead, he's treated like a common criminal by the fascist government. And it doesn't surprise me. In fact, there I wouldn't be surprised. In fact, I mentioned this in, in what I wrote on MSNBC's uh, comments uh, thing that I wouldn't be surprised if there's more Bradley Mannings uh, that come about in the f in the next few years. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be surprised if one... It's like I said, I wouldn't be surprised one day my... Uh, uh, the fucking government wasn't banging down my goddamn door and putting me in cuffs. Or let's go one step further. Let's go V for Vendetta on it. <laughs> Cover me... Because the CIA does this, too. They, where they put the black bags over your head and, and you basically like never seen again um yeah and, you know I wouldn't be surprised if there's more Bradley Mannings that come about because as the US government get you know as the you know as the economic system continues to get worse and worse and it just continues to collapse toward into obscurity the US government will pretty much just it'll it'll pretty much just resort to more totalitarian means and fascist means 
you know. It, so yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there's not more Bradley Mannings that come about. All I, th all I say is he, he should be freed. He should be given a friggin' Medal of Honor, and he should be given, you know, given a paid compensation for all the the pain and suffering and time that he spent that he spent in prison illegally at the hands of the US government by the way anybody that work no person that works for the US government that watches my videos go please send again this is probably the insomnia talking but please send them a fuck this one of these fucking videos I'd love to see their reaction I'd love to hear a comment you know or I'd love to see, you know, a reaction like, you know, you know, open up the door, sir. <laughs> it's like, fuck you. <sighs> am I making any sense at all or making any points or am I just babbling? I'm going to go to bed. I'll see. I'll talk to you guys later. But, and again, I'll talk more about this. Hopefully it'll be a little more clear-cut. And, yeah. Peace.